Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you Mozilla's X-Ray Goggles tool, which allows students to see the code behind web pages and alter it to see how web pages are created. So go to the goggles.mozilla.org web page and you can get the X-Ray Goggles tool and you simply have to drag it into your bookmarks bar as I've done here. And once you've done that, click Sample Activity Page, and you can go ahead and get started. So we'll click on X-Ray Goggles, and now it's activated, and let's go ahead and get started here. We can work right through this tutorial if we like, or just close it. Now, let's click on any portion of this. So let's choose this image here. So I click on it and now we see the code here. Right? So we can see this and we can change it. Let's put this in the middle and put this in the top and now we see how that figure was changed. We can update it. You can change anything up here. Again, click on it. And you can change the font. You can change the actual text itself or let's make it H2. And now we've changed the style of the font up at the top. And let's update that. Now, this will also work on other web pages, not just Mozilla's sample web page here. So let's say, for example, I went to practicaledtech.com and I wanted to remix an item on the page there. So maybe I want to remix this one. So we can remix anything on this page here. Let's go ahead and click X-ray goggles. You can see it's activated. Change this image. Let's click on it. Now we want to change the size of it. And we can resize accordingly. Now, this does not change how the original page actually looked. It just changes how it appears to the student on their local computer. It doesn't actually make a change to the actual website itself. It just changes the display for the student. So they can kind of see how uh, attributes of web pages are created and changed. And of course, if you want to go back, you can find many more suggestions from Mozilla at goggles.mozilla.org. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.